Have you ever wondered how coaches pick the best players or how businesses decide what products to sell? In this grade nine math lesson on analyzing and displaying data, we'll explore how mean, median, and mode reveal different ways of understanding numbers and how box plots and scatter plots help us see trends and patterns clearly. Let's dive into practical examples with real solutions. Example one, let's find the mean, median, and mode of a class with seven test scores, 65, 70, 75, 80, 80, 85, 90. For the mean, take the sum of all the numbers divide by seven because there are seven numbers. The answer is 77.86, approximately 80. For the median, arrange the numbers in order from lowest to highest. Then find the middle value, the answer is 80. For the mode, what is most popular number? 80 appears most often, so the answer is 80. Conclusion, the mode and median suggest most students scored around 80 showing consistency. Example two, box plot. A basketball team's points per game are 12, 15, 18, 20, 22, 25, 30. Minimum number is 12. Q1 is 15 in the first quartile, that is 25% of the data. Median is 20. Q3 is 25, that is in the third quartile, maximum number 30. The box plot shows most players score between 15 and 25, but one top scorer reaches 30. Example 3. Scatter plot. Hours studied versus test scores. Two hours produced 60%. 3 hours produced 65%, 4 hours produced 70%, 5 hours produced 80%, and 6 hours produced 85%. Observation. The scatter plot shows a positive trend. The more hours studied, the higher the score. By the end of this lesson, you'll see how these tools can help in real life, from tracking your own study habits, to understanding sports stats, to making smarter choices with data. Get ready to discover the hidden stories behind numbers, and turn data into decisions.